Hey guys, welcome back to 1v1 Madness. I have no clue how good this guy is. I just know he doesn't have the best rating, but he has 5 wins and 2 losses, so that's not too bad. Uh, looks like we're gonna play Ick. Oh, I didn't even start a wisp. Okay, well, then, <laughs> then let's pull Ick anyway. Uh, I can build him a little bit more in the back. Like, I don't have to care that much about building here and pulling and whatever, so build like this. Job's done. Mm. That's a given. I have good stuff. Which doctor? That's gonna make me uh that's gonna help me a lot. I don't know if I'm even gonna go Drake though. I might not do that. But I guess let's see what, what is gonna happen, right? Um Yeah I don't know. Like if he sends if he sends warriors, I could still dig ten or more creeps, which would really hurt me. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I probably also, I think I want to build the wanderer for a little too, and not the witch dog. I kind of want to do that, so that I can push a little bit and maybe at least get um, get the furb pre income for level three. But yeah. Like this, I really like to just send a furb level 3. I could also just go straight 7, but nah. I'm gonna get that 6 income. I mean, I would I would prefer to actually send it for level 2, but I won't have the time for it. I won't make that. Unless he leaks. Okay, he does not have ick. So he kills faster than me, and sometimes he kills multiple creeps. So he has more than one unit. Currently I'm tending to say 180 gold unit T2. But we know how random these people play sometimes, right? We know how random they are. We're gonna build the Wanderer and I guess the Witch Dog for the level after that. Um. Well, if he doesn't really find out that I have Yggdrasil, I might need 3x, because then he might just send 7. Um, but anyway, I, I don't plan to build more than 3x. Like, you never build 4x in uh, in 1v1. You never want that. I mean, I want to be good on level 10, so I, I actually really think about only building 2x and then rerolling on level 5. It might be better, because level, level 10 is... Level 10 is difficult if you're not able to hold it. Ah uh, well, I mean, level 10 is difficult if you don't have really good anti-10. So I don't want to lose on level 10. Out with it. And... Ooh, he sent three golds. Did he scout my egg maybe? But I didn't go away from the wall too much, so I should be fine. Ah uh, no though, ghouls deal a lot of damage. I think it would have been better if he sent one ghoul and two bowmen. And then he also needs to be lucky that the ghouls actually run in front. I don't know if I'm gonna leak to this. I might actually, I might actually leak to this. Because two is a good send against an egg that doesn't overbuild. Ooh, the heal, last second. Okay, I leak four creeps. Uh, it's gonna be enough for the witch doctor and... Well, I guess I can even go for a book bowmen. Do I want? I can. I guess I can send a blood orc. Do I want to send a blood orc? Wait. Do I make it? I need. I get six every ten seconds. I have over forty seconds. Twenty four. So I need one seventy seven. When this level is done. Um. I two hit these creeps. I I can get a blood orc. At 40 seconds, I need 177. Yep. All right, we're gonna do a blood rook. He got a little bit gold for me. 11. Um, I mean, he knows that I have Ictrus already. I guess. So now it's my my part to find out. Um, he didn't send a furp, so he either needed the income. I mean, if he has 180 gold and 60, he might actually really need that and. Instead of sending just one gold, he just wanted to be like all in, six gold. Um, 
but I don't know. I, I guess he, he doesn't have a big problem holding double three, but we'll see. Maybe he does a mistake. My light for the Lord. Um, I'm gonna push now. And I'm gonna reroll after the second dig. He sends again. Actually, wow. 100. That's 100 lumber. He started pushing on level 2. Started pushing a lot. I mean, he actually sent 220 in total. So maybe he actually did not start with 1-0 as I thought. Doesn't look like it. Does he actually make me leak like this? Damn, okay. That was actually not the worst cent. But there's a lot of gold now, so I can definitely go 5-0. Uh, he leaks the Bloodrock and the Crips. Gonna be 34 gold on his side, and... Well, 25 on my side. That would be 59. Uh, I don't know if that was correct, what I, what I was calculating there. Might not be. Maybe it would have been better if I pushed the, um, the Lumberjack already. But he definitely made me leak again. I didn't expect it. I mean, I had a Wanderer and a Witch Dog and a Null Warrior. Okay. Wrong play. Hmm. I need too much gold here. I don't know if I want to resend 5. Probably not. I mean, okay, wait. We're gonna wait. Maybe he resends again. Like, I don't know why he should do that, but maybe. And in that case, I might have enough gold if I sell a Null Warrior to actually get another egg. And maybe I need to send for a little bit of income, but if I can push the Lumberjack earlier, then that's totally worth it. Um, I need I need 15 more gold, and I need 10 more gold if I sell a Null Warrior. Uh, that's gonna be... I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's see if he sends. Maybe he's one of the guys who actually really sends every level f uh, for the beginning. No, he doesn't. I could go 6 0 though. A 6 0 push, I don't know. That's, that's pretty unusual for Yggdrasil. Usually you just want a 3 1 or 4 1 early. He took pretty long there. It could be Harlot. Could be Harlot. When he takes so long to kill the the, the creeps there, and then he kills two of uh, at the same time. He takes forever to kill this. I'm just gonna send a furp. I want to find out if he's under building with Harlots. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna get him like this. Oh, oh, that's that's sweet. Okay. I actually, to make this really work, I might have to build the LOD in front of the Ick. I might have to do that. Usually I would never do that because you want the Tree of Knowledge uh, to die first and everything like that. But here it's different because I will not have Tree of Knowledge yet. So I think I will build on LOD in front. Actually, I have a big problem though. I need to build for level 6. I don't know what I'm gonna build. I, I might not be able to get a lumberjack if I want to build for level six. So he didn't send. Level six is too dangerous, and he knows what I have. So I have to build for it. That sucks. So I have to stay six zero. So probably no LOD early. I would have really liked to just add LOD for seven, Hades at ten. With warlocks, easy ten holds. But looks like I will have to do it a little bit different. But hey, I wrecked him. That's good. My bidding. So I'm currently thinking about basically going Ice Troll and then upgrading the Ice Troll maybe. Spell do I have Stomp? 14 leaks, that's a good amount. Um, do they get 4 gold each? Because then I would get 56, 63. Wave, alright, and he used it right away. 
So he probably doesn't want to get bonus time. I should I should just do the lumberjack. So much time, so much gold. Out with it. The best would have been if I could just build LOD now, but I would have enough gold for that. And I'm still not sure if he really has harlots. I mean, he might not have. But it's a lot of gold. So I can build the ice troll. For my brothers. And if I sell this knoll. Job's done. I can build two warlocks. <laughs> or a revenant. Well, the revenant isn't too strong, Ali. Has begun. Uh, he he did one regen. He might not even send level six. Um, he might not even send level six. Job's done. Let's cancel this again. I don't need to wander anymore. Oh, he sent level six. Okay, never mind. Damn. Okay, let, let's see. Like, I can do the lumberjack though. I'm gonna be fine for seven still. Upping the ice troll or something, even if I leak here. So I might, I might actually do a little bit of king and just send like eight. So far, a good aggro. No one died. Okay, so if I'm leaking, I'm not leaking too much. X still alive, both of them. Now one of them died. That's actually a really good leak for me. But he leaks as well, so... GG. <laughs> well, he leaked, he leaked level 6 versus no send, and he, he was probably really committing to this, but only makes me leak 4 creeps. So that's definitely not good for him. But shit towns. I mean, I think he means towers. Or he means his, 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 his push, I don't know. Um, so since I don't leak that much, I might actually just send now. Or us. I mean, I can show him my spell. Not gonna change anything. Okay, um... 262 gold. Damn, that's a lot of gold. But I don't have a lot of options. This costs one food, sadly. I could build another ice troll though. How about that? Oh no, <laughs> it costs food as well. Um, fuck this. Let's build it like this. Okay, I have a few seconds left. Um, gonna do a wyvern. Maybe that will end him a little bit earlier. Oh, he reached a furp. Oh, after me holding so good on six, it might make me leak. But is he so confident about his build? Okay, I'm not leaking. I was kidding. Drake Grizzle and a really, really good backline is not leaking. With Rip. He had wave, so... Well, that should be at least a heal. And look at my push. 7-3. And he's gonna feed me now with all this gold. Sweet. Not even gonna get that much back, like... He lost a lot of value here. Look, look at the bounty. 40-50%. So, I think creeps usually give 6 gold, so he will only get 3. It's also gonna feed me a little bit. Yeah, looking good for me. That's gonna be a heal. Probably gonna get the wave in a few seconds, but... Yep, not enough. We're not in Hellhole TD here, where wave just one hits everything. You need 3 waves here to kill everything, kinda. Uh, what am I doing? Am I resending? 
mean, he has wave, but still, I'm, I'm resending because I think I will just make him leak again and make him lose value. Um, but then I guess, I don't know if I even want to go 10. I might try, how about we, we try some old school 1v1 tactics? Because 1v1, well, 1v1 has almost every level, is, basically every level is viable in 1v1. Because it always depends on your opponent. You don't have four people you play against, so everyone covers another level or something. Um, I, bid you. Well, I hope I brothers. hold this level now. I mean, he should have, she should now have Ictrus and then just held seven. He shouldn't send eight, right? Come on, bro, don't do it. Um, so I'm gonna go 11 or 12. That's what I wanna say. Um, those are levels that can work really well in 1v1. Okay, he didn't. Good. Good boy. So we're gonna start king. Well, just, just a little bit. I mean, basically just this level so I get a little bit of income, so I can get my uh, LOD and hopefully the Hades as well. Level 10. I don't know if I will have enough gold though. Might also just leak this. Gonna be close. Oh, the ice troll is also slowing the speed of the um, of ranged units. Didn't know that. Oh, he leaks again. Yeah, I'm gonna get enough. But still, I need I need even more income for level ten. That's a good hold, I would say. That's a really good hold. What she gonna do now? Giving less and less bounty. I think he tries to hold, but it's just very difficult for him right now. It's gonna be a lot of gold for me. He doesn't use wave. D does he think, does he believe he can deal damage to me on 10 or he has a better push than me? Look at my push. I have Ictrasil 7-4. <laughs> he fed me way too much. He shouldn't go, go, go for time, but I mean, he probably doesn't have that much experience, I don't know. I mean, on this account he only has 7 games, but I think he had another account where he had like 100 something games. So he's not too, unex too inexperienced, I would say. Okay, that will be enough gold for me to get the uh, 80s on 10. That's good. So just for 10, gonna be Hades in front. I might even be able to get a T1 in front of it. But I'm gonna find it out later. Job's done. Out with it. So, I mean, to be honest, this, this might be one of the best rolls you can get. This this is going to carry you through most of the early game. You might have a little bit of trouble level 3, but you can overbuild. Um, yeah, you're not that good level 7, but whatever. I mean, Ice Troll, LOD is still doing good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I won't have to reroll this. I'm bad 17, basically. But I can just get two Tox and mess Hades, and that's gonna be good enough. That's definitely gonna be good enough. He's, he's suiciding. Okay, so he's he pushed hard. He leaks every wave. Now he's gonna feed me, even if he doesn't give bounty to himself anymore. He will still give bounty to me. Um, he goes hard on King, and I guess he wants to save for something like 12. Well, uh, so now I need to be careful because I need to kill him. So I don't know if actually 11 or 12 is going to be enough. 11 is kind of weak itself, especially with a strong king. 12, he has wave even for, so it's a big support. I might actually have to go for 13 or 14, go for a long save. But I think I'm fine with it because he is he's not saving yet. He's basically still doing king. So he, ha he will have more income than me, but I think my save is going to... Um, 
gonna be able to beat him, especially since if I get uh, feed every level and if I also get um, the arena win, the 100 gold. I don't see how he wins arena, to be honest. I don't see him win this. I bid you. So of course he wants me to just send so he's like safe, but nope, can't do that. That's a given. Oh shit, one gold away from a Warlock. It has begun. Okay, I'm not gonna build more in case I only in case he sends and I only kill two. I can still push. Because 51 gold each. Um Yeah, I mean you can always be unlucky and not hold. Of course my value is really good and my units are good, but you can be unlucky. And well, if I'm unlucky and I need king. I have 5 attack already, 1 regen and 800 lumber. I bid you. So I guess I won't die here anyway. Let me see. Maybe he sent some small mass. No, he didn't even. Okay. I might give him a freehold there, but I don't know. Like, he leaked so much in level 9 by himself. Um, I don't think he killed that. Unless he had a really good setup for level 10. I might have flicked to a small scent. This is actually pretty painful for him. He, he sees that I'm saving even. He probably is like, oh, he's going king or whatever. But if he sees that I'm 7-5, he's going he's gonna to be very scared. He's going to be so scared. Yep, he doesn't. He didn't have a good setup. I mean, he killed one, and there was no send. So he probably has bad value and everything. I think fourteen would probably be too easy. So I might. I, I will try to go thirteen in in case he has bad units for thirteen. But if he has some some AOE clear or something for thirteen, then I'm probably not gonna risk it. But I think currently thirteen looks good. Unless he dies now, I, I could have killed him on ten, I guess. Yeah. I, I could have made him leak all three bosses and with more HP also. But I don't want to. I want to have a little bit of fun. But initially my, my thought was going 12 after he also leaked 8 to a commander. Um, but with Wave and this king he's gonna survive it. No matter what I send. Seven six. So the problem is gonna be if he somehow survives my sense, he might actually even be uh, ahead of me. I don't really want to build anything. He's building for arena. Uh -uh. Triggering me to build as well. Well then let's do that. I don't, I don't see him winning this though, because there's a lot of value. And Yggdrasil isn't that bad in arena and only one. Because it basically does what it should do. Oh wow, okay. Uh, so it seems like he started Wyvern and Warlock. Okay. That's a 180 gold unit and T2. That's kind of what I said. But of course, when I think of 180 gold units, I don't think of Windriders usually. Um, Windrider is actually good 30 now. Warlocks? Warlocks are not good at all, unless like 15. I don't know if I want to wait until 14 though. Or, or do, do I want to go into defense mode? I, I don't think he's going to send 11, so I, I could just play the safe. Try to hold his send or whatever he does. I, I think I have to go 14, yeah. Not expecting him to send now. Or may, maybe he does, who knows. Um. But I can't really build anything. I I Could serve? build the witch dog. I am prepared. But I'm currently planning to get two tox and another Hades for 14. Um. Oh, he sent. Okay. Now let's see what that does. I mean, I don't have a tree of knowledge yet. I would have been so great if I had a tree of knowledge.
I just want to find out. want to get her some experience how much I leak here. I guess I will need King. Or? Uh, Hades died now. leaks. How much king do I need? Hmm. Oh, we're gonna end him with such a big send, holy shit. Um Let me face the peril. I'm gonna do four upgrades. That's gonna be enough. Defending your name. I mean, we did some five. We did the five attack earlier, so that's definitely going to be enough. It takes longer to kill this, but oh, draw still shit. <laughs> oh well, and I'm still saving. Then 12. I think I'm gonna end him 12, but I wanna have some fun. Hmm, shit, I can't build LOD. I wanna forfeit, but you can't. You, he, you could basically just leave a 1v1, one one. you don't get a ban for it. But I'm not gonna tell him because then he leaves. So. Oh man. Oh, that's boring. Or may maybe he's, he's just joking. Thy bidding, master. Okay, I'm gonna sense. I hope this is not a trick, a cheap trick. Um. You seek me help? Build more farms. Where shall my blood be spilled? Job done. I, I hope he's not doing a cheap trick on me. But the thing is, I didn't want to not send now because then he just he's just gonna king juggle and do whatever. Um, but yeah, he's not building. Okay, that's boring though. That's boring. GG. I had good rolls though. Yeah, since there's no forfeit, you can you can just leave. He tried his best, but I mean he he went six. He went six, which wasn't too bad. Um, but I was simply I was preparing for it. I mean, I actually even sold the warlock there, right? So I could have actually even held the, the level completely. Anyway, good game. That was kind of funny. I wanted to go forty, but well, if he sells his units, then. Whatever. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, hope to see you on another game soon and bye-bye. Uh,